What's going on guys? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today's topic, platinum to stocks ratio. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so my last video was on platinum to palladium ratio and what I think about that. Now I want to talk about um, not only platinum really, but also just PMs to stocks ratio. I think that any strong portfolio is going to have both. That's what I personally think. I don't think you should dump all your money into one or the other. Now. As far as what I mean by plat or uh, precious metals to stocks ratio, I'm not talking about a ratio as in there's more stocks than PMs or there's more PMs than stocks. What I am discussing is my thoughts on the relationship between stocks and stock prices and, and PMs and pre-M prices. Now, I already said that a strong portfolio will have some of both, and that's true, in my opinion. But as far as the stocks and the PMs, one thing I've noticed, and I haven't been stacking forever, um, I've been stacking for about a year now, uh, strongly at least, and my opinion is when the stock market goes down or is taking a dip or isn't doing as well as it should, the PMs usually go up. Now, COVID obviously kind of knocked everything out of whack and made everything go down, except King Gold. But historically, when the stocks are kind of hurting, the PMs are kind of boosting. So I think it's a good thing to keep an eye on, even if you are mainly focused on PMs or even if you're mainly focused on stocks and not PMs. Um, I think it's a good thing to keep an eye on because when you get extra money, what are you going to do with it, right? You're either going to spend it on something you want, vacation, uh, something, uh, iPhone, what, whatever you want, really. Or you're going to spend that extra money on an investment. You're going to invest it so it grows or it at least holds its value for in the future when you want something. Because maybe you don't want anything right now, but you have extra money and you don't want it just sitting there. That's smart. So one thing you should probably keep in mind is when you find yourself in that situation, which I'm sure we all do, I know I do, but I'm sure we all do at some point, you should probably take a look at both. You should look at the PMs and you should look at the stock market. If the stock market is down, find some stocks to invest in. If the PMs are down but the stock market's up, maybe think about PMs because always buy low, always sell high. Um, that's just my opinion. That's just my take on it. And that's what I think. So take a look at both when you have extra money to spend in uh, investing into your future or just your holdings. And just keep in mind that when one's down, the other one's up. So if you get that extra money and you think, oh, I'm going to put this in stocks, take a look at the stock market, but also look at the PMs. Because whichever one's down is probably your best buy at that time. Uh that you have the money. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on this. Um, I Like I said before, I think you should invest in both. Stocks are gonna be more of your growth and PMs are gonna be more of your securing your wealth because they hold stronger um, as far as their worth. Whereas stocks in a good economy will make you money in a bad economy they won't necessarily lose you lose you money unless you sell at a loss, but they just don't hold their value quite as strong as PMs. And one extra tip I want to give is that um, at the time of this video, it's kind of towards the end now, but at the time of this video, COVID has caused a kind of downturn. Well, it caused and almost basically crash at the beginning of everything, right? Silver struggled, platinum struggled, 
stock struggled, everything, gold struggled a bit, um, everything struggled. But if you go back and look at the numbers, the stock market went way, 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 way down. So much so that they cut it off a couple times because they were like, look, people, quit selling. Like, you're going to just, you're going to hit zero. Like, <laughs> they didn't really do that, but that's what it looked like. It was bad. Bad, bad, bad day for trading. Bad day for stocks. PMs, it was bad, but it wasn't quite as bad. It still held its value. I think silver hit probably bottom dollar, 10 bucks a spot an ounce, um, which wasn't even a 50% loss. I think uh, at its height, just before COVID, it was around 18, 19 bucks an ounce. So it wasn't even a 50% loss, whereas if you had money in certain stocks, you might have lost 75, 85, 90, 95% of your money. So the PM still held strong. Now, everyone saw it, and they're like, oh, my gosh, it lost all its money. But it didn't do as bad as the stock market, and there's a reason for that. These are hard assets. These are not dependent on anything other than just really existing in a way. I mean, they do have their industrial uses, and that affects their value. But they're precious metals. They'll always have value. If you invest in Home Depot or Apple or Walmart or whatever, the CEO, the chairman, whatever, they decide what happens in the company and they are the ones who are responsible for making the company successful or fail. So you're kind of putting your money in the faith of the CEOs and the investors and the chairman and the owners and things like that. But with PMs, you're just putting your faith in something that has always had value and will always have value. So these are my thoughts, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe for more Platinum videos. Until next time, guys. See ya.